Good day everyone. Today we will have a report about drawing, the simplest and most effective method of expressing visual concepts. Charcoal, chalk, graphite, and paper have been sufficient instruments for centuries to start some of the most meaningful images in art. Making sketches for bigger compositions that would later be realized as paintings, sculptures, or even buildings was a traditional function of sketching. This drawing function still exists today because of its relative imp importance. There are two main categories of drawing media. There are dry media and liquid media. Stick forms of dry media are typically applied directly. Typically, liquid media are applied with an instrument like a pen or brush. Dry media is generally those used for growing which do not require solvent like water or turpentine. The most common illustration material is graphite, which can be used in pencils, powder, or compressed sticks. It is affordable, adaptable, and mistakes made with it are quickly rectified, depending on how much pressure is applied in it. It may produce a wide range of hues, which is one of its strongest points. The medium is comparable to charcoal or burned wood. Many artists have utilized this technique over the years and it generates darker tone with either gentle or firm strokes. One of the examples of graphite media is the artwork of Theodore Leopold Weller, a seated woman in Roman dress spinning, created in July 1833. Metal point. Metal point is the ancestor of graphite pencil, an old technique that was especially popular during the Renaissance period. Few artists use it now because it is not very forgiving of mistakes or indecision. Once put down, the lines cannot be easily changed or erased. Crayon, pastel, and chalk. The dry media discussed so far, graphite, metal point, and charcoal, allow artists to work with a range of values on the gray scale. With crayon, pastel, and chalk, a full range of colors become available. Crayons and pastels are made of powder pigments, the same as those to make paints mixed with a binder. For crayons, the binder is a greasy or waxy substance. The coloring crayons given to children, for example, use a wax binder. Finer, denser, more brilliant versions of these crayons have been developed for artists. Another children's product, a crayon using a binder of wax and oil, has also inspired an artist quality equivalent, known somewhat confusingly as oil pastels. They are as brilliant as artist quality wax crayons, but with a creamier consistency that facilitates blending. Crayons made with the waxy or greasy binders, in contrast, tend to favor discrete strokes that can be layered but not blended. Pastels consist of pigments bound with, the, with a non-greasy binder, such as a solution of gum arabic or gram tregasant, a natural gum made from hardened, hardened sap in water. Liquid media is any drawing medium that is wet during application rather than dry. Ink and wash is a drawing technique used in traditional Japanese culture where ink is applied with a brush and water. The reason that ink and wash is considered drawing rather than painting is because it studies tonality rather than color. Many Western artists have used ink and wash as a sketching medium. India ink is a traditional liquid drawing medium that dates back to India in the 4th century BCE. A carbon black pigment suspended in water makes up the substance. A metal tip nib pen can also be used to apply India ink precisely. The ink will flow to the paper through a groove channel in the tip or nib. To maintain the desired ink flow, the nib must be frequently deep in the ink well. The quill is the prede predecessor of the nib pen. Here are the different types of ink pens. Different types of ink pens will create different kinds of line. First is fountain pens. Fountain pens are known for the fluidity of their marks. Ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen have crisper, more even lines. And the felt tip pen. Felt tip pen is used to create broader types of, types of marks. Pen and ink. This medium produces lines that are smooth and uniform in tone and intensity. In comparison to the pencil, it is a harder medium because it is permanent. Along with, along with being permanent, 
This medium appeals to many artists because it is reasonably simple to use and good value. Brush and ink. You can use the same supple, delicate brushes for ink and watercolor. Brushes can be used in a variety of ways to achieve a variety of effects, from bold and savage to delicate and refined. The idea of sketching with a brush illustrates how elusive it can be to pinpoint precisely where drawing ends and painting begins. Good day, Good day everyone. There are many drawing techniques and one of them is tattooing technique. It is possible for artists to produce visible textures, things that appear to be different from human skin by using various color or black dispersion as a skillfully executed tattoo that adds a level of consistency ensures that a tattoo appears more genuine, whether it be lumps, bumps, or other textures where the shadow falls depend on where the light hits an object and one of the I, one of the hardest skills to learn in art making process is this fundamental component. To the animation, there is probably not much need for explanation of 2D animation. 2D characters and environments are produced using it. Despite being one of the more traditional animation techniques, cartoons, proportional films, explainer videos, and other uses frequently use this style because of its adability each frame in a conventional animation was painstakingly made by hand which can take a lot of time the 2d animation process is streamlined today because of the availability of digital tools and methods for animators lastly cake decorator technique is the practice of decorating cakes for important events like birthday marriage, holiday, or as marketing tool. It is a type of sugar art that makes us use of edible embellishment like fondant, frosting, and icing. Cake decorating is not just the act of adorning a cake. Sugar artists who specialize in cake decoration have been highlighted on TLC, Food Network, and Discovery Family. They provide an overview of several Cake decorating methods like molding, sculpting, and teething. An artist may create straightforward or intricate three-dimensional form as a part of the cake's overall overlamentation. A cake is typically decorated by covering it in some kind of frosting and then adorning it with sugar candy, chocolate, or icing embellishment. Thank you.